Hi guys, Harley in Taiwan here. I am trying to do something very new, which is I'm going to try to do some Let's Play videos. I started to play with this game, which is the Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is a fantastic software as far as I'm concerned. Um, my hardware might not be the perfect for it because it's a little bit weak, but should be pretty good. Um, as you can see, when you get inside, you can do, you know, make a new profile. I already, I have already played with two different profiles here. I am going to start a brand new just for this. So when I start a new profile, it's going to ask me for a name, which obviously I'm going to be hardly in Taiwan. Okay, that's my name, hardly in Taiwan, that's fine. I'm gonna be a male. It has, you can select a lot of different pictures, but as you can see, most of these people look just profoundly horrible ridiculous to be honest so I'm just going to choose the very first guy because he looks normal I am going to choose my favorite truck from all kind of trucks you can choose my favorite is the Scania and you can choose a company logo which I don't think that is really important but let's say this is the one and my company name is going to be hardly in sorry in Taiwan truck uh, I wanted to make it hardly in Taiwan trucking company but it, it won't fit so anyway this game is a truck simulator the point is to basically build up a trucking company from zero uh, original driving some other people's truck and then buying some trucks delivering goods, making money, hiring new people, buying new trucks, buying garages, upgrading garages, and, and it's a full simulator. It's something fantastic. Now, the way to control it, unfortunately, I don't have any you know professional controllers like this. I wish I did. I tried keyboard, you know, using the keyboard. The good thing if you use the keyboard is that you can use your mouse to actually look around pretty freely which can be beautiful however driving with the keyboard is very i don't know how to call it it's just not smooth you know so i realized that it's much smoother if i actually use the mouse so i'm going to use mouse steering and the simple automatic mode is when you are Pushing forward, then it goes forward. Pushing backward, it goes backwards. Um, when you go and you push backwards, it's first it breaks and then it starts going backwards. So it's very simple. The real automatic, you actually have to put it into D or neutral or uh, uh, going backwards. Um, sequential is already more complicated. Uh, and H shifter is even more complicated. So um, those those would require to have those kind of uh, things that I don't have. So I'm gonna go for real automatic, and that's pretty much it. A little waiting and set up our hometown. Um, I'm actually gonna set up my hometown somewhere. At a reasonable place, let's say. Um, you know what? I'm gonna actually make it to here. Hold on. I'm gonna set up my hometown right here in Dresden, simply because I know that there is a Scania company over there. So that's it. Do you want to walk through the tutorial? Um, yes, I do. So here you go. The first job is free as a wind. As you can see, the graphic is absolutely gorgeous. 
um, it using this recording does have a little negative effect on the rate I believe but it's not that bad so welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 at last you have the chance to experience your dream job driving a truck I didn't know that was on my dream but sounds good your own transportation company is now open for business but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck for now you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire sure your task is to safely deliver a load of used plastic to Transcendent Dock in Dresden. Your employer has provided you with the vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. So now we are in the company, uh, in the car. Now, before I start anything, look at that beautiful graphic. Before I go any further, I'm actually going to change some little options here because I, I know that I have to. So bear with me for a second. First of all, for looking around, um, I'm going to have looking left, I'm going to use this Z, looking right, I'm going to use X, and looking forward, I'm going to use Q. That's pretty important. With the gameplay, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. okay, fatigue simulation is there. That's good. I don't think I need to, oh, the controls, yeah. The controls, first of all, real automatic. I'm going to use an adaptive automatic transmission, which I have no idea, but it sounds better. Um, I'm going to, steering sensitivity, I'm going to bring it down way low, because that's how I realized it's going to work with my mouse. With my mouse. And what am I going to do? There was one more thing I wanted to check. Yes, it's in the gameplay. Just for fun, I'm going to make a realistic fuel consumption. Advisor speed limit, I put the show the truck limit. Let's see. Show car limit. I'm going to use the truck limit. So it's going to be, it's going to show how much I can go. Rain possibility is very, probability is very low. That's good. All right. So far, so good. So I'm done. And then uh, let's go back. So here I am in probably it's a Scania. I'm not sure if it's a Scania or not. So it says please press E to start engine. So let's do that. Nice little sound. Okay. Now I'm having I have a brake on that, so can you hear that? nice okay so I have to actually put manually into D and then I go a little bit further and then I can stop perfect I can look at interior is like this looks outside it looks like this uh, let's see how can I change yeah I can actually look from all different angles. This is my Scania truck. This is not my truck, unfortunately. This is just a truck that I can use. Third is from out from from the top. Fourth is from the top of the truck. Looking back from the, I think it's from the front. This is a cool angle. But this one, I have no idea what it is. So. It's a drive-by camera. Okay. Probably it would show something if I was moving. So, let's go back. F1 is going to show us like a GPS kind of thing. So now we have, you have a set navigation called Root Advisor. This by current status and helps you with the information about your current job and points you where to go. So, current status it actually shows you are going zero you are in d2 right now which is not too good i should back okay right now i cannot do anything with it 
I have my no damage, I have some gas, I'm perfectly rested, no email. This is the current time. Uh, right now it's 10.08. I have 2000 euros in, but in the bank. Now, I can actually check with F5 in different ways I can look and this is the most this one would be the most you know the clearest form okay okay now I'm actually wondering how I can get out of here okay now job F6 cargo name use plastic uh, I have to get there by Monday three o'clock so I have like five hours to deliver and it's very very close uh, I would get 300, 361 euros if I make it and I can drive without resting for 10 hours and 52 minutes okay F7 oh sorry F7 the diagnostic place uh, you can see how badly your truck and your cargo are damaged. The truck can be repaired at service station in any city. The damage to cargo, however, is permanent, so be careful. If you happen to get stuck on the road, you can also call assistance. So, basically, if I damage the truck, this is gonna go up a little bit, but it's not that bad. This one, however, is gonna cost me. Alright, so that's, I think that's all. That's all you need to know. So let's go back to the navigation and I want to go back to this one here. So I'm going to go back from this. Now F2, I can actually have my two mirrors up, which is, I think, very important. And uh, let's see. Um, let me look. I cannot get out here. Let's see how much space I have here. Okay, I have a huge place here, so I think... Let's see how much I can... Maybe I can go back? Uh, no, I'm pretty close, so... Let's go forward and let's try to... Let's try to actually make like a little circle here. I could do that actually from the top, but I would like to kind of, you know, RP, RPG it a little bit, you know. I, I wanna, I try to use this program as if it was an RPG. Let's see if I can actually have enough space here. Yeah, I think, very nice. I'm gonna go out like this, it's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna see if I can RPG it and, and play it as if it was, if I was really the truck driver, so I try to avoid using camera angles that are just not natural. Okay, so, okay, let's go. It's actually pretty smooth, I think. So let's stop for a second. Let's look around. Okay, so there are some people. Right, okay. Let's make an indication and let's let's go. Let's try not to clip anything. Oh wait a minute, this is a one by one way. Okay. I was going on the opposite lane. It seems to be smooth, relatively speaking. I hope actually I'm recording because if I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be angry. And as you can see, I'm going to have to make a right turn here, so I'm going to indicate. It's going to, itself is going to slow down nice and easy, but I'm going to do some little braking as well. But actually, I can probably just simply go even a little bit quicker because... Oh, 
all right we have gotta watch the mirrors because I don't want to clip the end of this thing and I want to stay in the in the inside lane because that's where I'm gonna go you have discovered a recruitment agency that's cool it's gonna be important in the future all right let's go so here is the thing I indicate slow down a little bit as you can see it's pretty smooth I think I like it oh yo let's turn let's turn let's turn let's turn now here's the thing now I could actually push the enter and then it would automatically put me into the space now I don't want to do that I don't know about you guys but I try to make it as realistic as possible so I try to go and actually try to see if I can make it into that space myself so if I want to go that way I think I have to go slightly this way yeah am I in the right spot? I think I have to go a little bit to that way I'm trying to really simulate it, in other words I try to RPG it, I'm not here to oh yo alright, let's go straight perfect, look at that it's gonna get green perfect which means I'm gonna put it into neutral and with T I can actually release the cargo and perfect I drove two kilometers it took me 23 minutes I used 1.8 liter I actually got 45 XP extra because I parked the trailer and I have 361 euros which is great okay and I got a garage this is your headquarters it's probably base it's a pretty basic garage it may not be much but it's a start unfortunately you haven't got anything to park there yet so there are no trucks inside once you've earned enough money and bought a truck you will be able to move the world in the world freely and run your own business from here good luck okay so let's see what we progressed here you see I actually started up um, doesn't really show too much still just almost zero but all right now I'm gonna save it okay after first no after tutorial okay and I think that's it and we're gonna start the journey um, next time I would like you guys to tell me what you think if you think it's good I think the quality should be okay I'm using a MacBook uh, Pro Retina which is not really such a, a strong uh, computer but it seems to be okay to me and let me know if you think it's it's good so I I will I try to shut it down and then I see you guys later so yes thank you uh,